people keep saying that the Shah is different from places mm -hmm. that you may have worked before, but I think that what people forget is that the Shah is different from a place anyone could have worked before, that these ensemble-based theaters are a disappearing breed they in, really in, in are. the world. They really are. Uh, Stratford is the only other comparable place, I would say, and I have worked four times at the Stratford Festival in Ontario. But um, yes, people seem to think that there's a lot of these semi-permanent ensembles growing and working together in theatres in Britain, for example, like the Royal Shakespeare Company, but it, it really isn't so. The, the economy in British theatre has changed so much, and it's all about television and film, that they can't ask actors to commit for long contracts at all, and so the turnover there makes it really just any other rep theatre. Well, I think it also harks back to a day before uh, actors in the theatre worked in the, in the movies so often that mm. it's, it's, you can't get an actor to sit down for from May to November, no. that they're going to get called into television, called into movies. Their and agents won't let them. Their agents won't let them, otherwise Mark Rylance would be in Niagara-on-the-Lake even as we speak, I would, would guess. Even as we speak. <laughs>